The main intelligence directorate of the Ukrainian Defense Ministry has launched an attack on Russian troops in Tendra Spit area not far from the Russian annexed Crimea Peninsula. The agency shared the video footage of the attack on its official Telegram channel. The Ukrainian special forces landed in the area on June 6 and destroyed Russian armored vehicles, in particular MTLB armored personnel carrier and an electronic warfare system. Russians' fortifications were also destroyed in the attack. Russia also suffered heavy losses in terms of military personnel, however the number of casualties has not been revealed yet. After completing the mission, the fighters of the main intelligence directorate withdrew from the area without suffering any losses. It should be noted that Tendra Spit is a narrow island 1.8 kilometers wide and 65 kilometers long, located not far from Crimea in the northern part of the Black Sea. On August the 5th, a rocket attack was launched at an airbase in Iraq, where military forces from the US and other countries are stationed, according to Reuters. Two sources within Iraqi security forces reported that the Ain al-Assad airbase in western Iraq was hit by two Katyusha rockets. An Iraqi security source stated that the rockets landed on the base's grounds. Several U.S. personnel were injured in a suspected rocket attack against U.S. and coalition forces at Al-Assad Air Base in Iraq, a U.S. defense official said. We can confirm that there was a suspected rocket attack today against U.S. and coalition forces at Al-Assad Air Base, Iraq, the official said. Initial indications are that several U.S. personnel were injured. Base personnel are conducting a post-attack damage assessment. As a result of the attack, at least five American service members were injured, with one sustaining serious injuries. The number of casualties may change. Base personnel are conducting a post-attack damage assessment, one of the officials said. The U.S. defense officials said troops at Al-Assad Air Base were still assessing the injuries and damage and it appeared that military troops and civilians were injured. The agency notes that it is currently unclear whether the attack is connected to Iran's threats of retaliation for last week's killings of senior members of Hamas and Hezbollah. Iran, along with its Islamic groups Hezbollah in Lebanon and the Houthis in Yemen, is planning a large-scale missile attack on Israel soon. U.S. officials have long blamed attacks on troops in Iraq and Syria on Iran-backed militia groups. Deputy Pentagon Press Secretary Sabrina Singh said last month after a drone attack on al-Assad that it was most likely carried out by Iranian-supported groups. This response comes after the killing of a senior Hamas leader, Ismail Haniyeh, and a top Hezbollah commander, Fawad Shukur, by Israeli military and intelligence forces on July the 31st. Additionally, Iran has blamed the U.S. for Haniyeh's death. The U.S. is increasing its military presence in the Middle East to defuse the situation. U.S. Vice President and Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris has picked Minnesota Governor Tim Walz as her running mate for the upcoming presidential election. However, Harris has not made an official statement about Walz yet. The duo will appear together in their first joint rally in Philadelphia tonight where Harris will officially introduce Walls as her running mate. Then they will tour key battleground states. Congressman Walls is a former educator and has also served in the Army National Guard. He gained national attention for his strategy of calling Trump and J.D. Vance, weird, a phrase Harris has adopted when talking about her rival. Vice President Kamala Harris's chemistry with her newly selected running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walls, was really important and it really clicked for both of them, a source close to Walls told CNN. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump's campaign responded to announcement of Walls as Harris's running mate, 
calling the congressman as a San Francisco liberal wannabe and a dangerously liberal extremist.